Hi guys, it's Heather. Today I am back with another spreads video. Um, today we were working on the December 24th of 2022. Now, I did um, happen to have some personal issues that had come up and um, in order to kind of help uh, my mind think and function, I actually already pre-did a spread that was from 2020, from the 24th, but I, I feel so bad I didn't get to film it, but I will show you. This is my woods spread from the 24th of December. I... Um, I, I have to say doing this spread, it was very comforting, um, and very relaxing, um, and it helped me calm down. And I think sometimes that's just going to happen. I'm going to need, you know, to do a spread, but I figured I would give kind of information so the background is actually what i did a few spread videos ago for the zinunu spread with the tissue paper but instead of ripping it i just did one big piece of the blue tissue paper which is this color and these pastel tissue papers i bought at the family dollar but it's tissue paper you can find tissue paper probably anywhere you buy like birthday stuff and then this is a sticker that came from this snow dream sticker book from the sticker pack that I got off Timu and that is in my first Timu haul from back in <clears throat> July so you can see me haul this in that video and then of course we have the woods stickers and this washi tape is this washi tape like the the mountains i thought it looked really pretty and that washi tape was also from that first timu haul from back in july so if you want to kind of see that haul video and you haven't seen it yet you can and then this white stuff is actually um ornament filler that I bought at the Family Dollar maybe last year, the year before, for crafts with my son. I don't know where. So you get like the white, the red, and the green. So it's just ornament filler that I got um, at the Family Dollar um, maybe last year, maybe the year before. They have it out when it comes to Christmas time, so you probably won't be able to find. Uh, the ornament filler until around Christmas time. I'm pretty sure because Family Dollar is now like a sister company to the Dollar Tree. So I'm pretty sure the Dollar Tree will have these once they start putting out their Christmas stuff. So you might find the ornament filler like in November. Or you could just do any big, um, big type of glitters if you want. I just went with the ornament filler this time. And then these little gems that I have are actually these they came in these and I'm pretty sure these are nail gems um and I don't know where these came from my boyfriend found them and uh he brought them home he also spilled them so they're kind of all mixed up but I think they're gems for your nails but I decided to use them as craft gems so I don't know where he uh these came from because he found them so it's so random. So that is this wood spread. Now, we will start on our next spread, which is going to be um, a mile apple spread for uh, the Farmhouse Royal Grand Opening event. And I have already pre-did the background for this spread because it was very time consuming and it did take a lot of me 
laying things down how I wanted it. So, before we start, um, the background uh, paper, this background paper, like the wood texture with the hearts, actually came from this paper pad, which this is the small 6x8 paper pad that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, which I might have hauled this paper pad in a small stationary haul that I think I did at the end of June. But I think these are like $3 at the Dollar General. So they had the little wood with the hearts. So it came from this paper pad. And then I decided, because this is very, like, the farmhouse bread event, and I looked at the pictures I had, it was, um, these are the pictures we're working with. So we have Miles, we have Apples, we have a Mile Apo, and then from the event themselves, we have them where they kind of look like they're bakers. So I really wanted to go with, like, a very rustic feel for this. So this ribbon, burlap, whatever you want to call it, I picked this ribbon burlap it is a very thick a thick section of burlap um this actual ribbon burlap I picked this up at Walmart and this one I actually is not a seasonal um ribbon or whatever this one I actually found in their actual aisle with like the fat the flowers and this is one of the ribbons they have for like if you do flower arrangements or bouquets. So this can, I don't know because Walmart's re rearranged everything. But this is one of the, um, I think this is like two, maybe three years old. But this is one of the um, burlap ribbons from Walmart in like their flower section. The fake flower section. So it's like this burlap and it's got like the lace. Like the lace is only sewed in at the top and the bottom. So the middle part is like loose. So I actually, when I went in to do it, I like glued this part down and here and then I cut it. And because you cut it, the middle part is loose. So I still have like um, lace, lace and like the burlap where they're not attached anymore, like the middle sections. But before I could do that, like you had then the the other part. So I, I glued this section down and then this section I like that I'd already cut off this. I flipped and glued on this side and then trimmed it and that would give you the leftover middle section. And then I had to do another new piece of burlap here because I wanted the edges that are already like sewed down, like the sewed down edges of the ribbon. So I had to get a new piece, did this, did the same thing, flipped over and then this side and then trimmed the edges off. And then I, I'm going to keep the other pieces and we'll use them in a different spread. So that's kind of how I did this one. And it, it still even goes over because I'm not quite good with cutting the edges. But it kind of reminds me of when we did the leather. And I really wanted this to like dry down completely and make sure that the ribbon like stayed before I started on um, the gluing and our, the pictures and the such. So that is that. Now we'll get on to the spread. And I don't know how I'm going to do the rest of the spread. So we're, we'll figure it out as we go. That's what I always say. almost done with this book too oh and as always my goods are in the BL mug which I picked up off of Etsy I probably won't use what's in the mug but I do have my glue tape runner I picked these up at Walmart they come in a four pack but I'll probably pick my next batch up off at Amazon. 
and to lay down the ribbon I used the tacky glue this was from the Dollar General but you can find tacky glue like Walmart all kinds of places and of course my scissors and my tweezers so that's what we're doing today and because we have the ribbon down at the bottom I probably won't use any washi tape Well, we have finished our tape runner, so I'll have to pull a new one out of the uh, drawer. I think I'm coming down with like a cold or allergies or something because our weather keeps changing here. Okay, now.
before I do that, I need to put something here so that I can write on it. We want like a nice rustic brown. This one will work. So we're working with this. And these are the little stacks of like cards, I like papers I get. I also get them off Timu. I don't know if I've hauled these yet, but I do get them off Timu. And all I really do is just cut the little white part off the bottom. But it has like the saying, so I can use like the colored part. Um, And then we are going to use, I think, the metallic marker. I think this is the gold one. And I bought these at the Dollar General. I think these are also two years old. And then we'll cut the excess off the bottom and figure out where I'm going to place it. I kind of want to do maybe here or here. We'll do it here. I also have glitter, and I don't know where the glitter has come from. But then again, I feel like once you use something with glitter, the glitter just never goes away. Okay, now we're going to place some stickers. I don't know if I have something in here that would work. Ooh, we have a big Delicious set, which again... These are the stickers that I picked up at Off Timu. I think you get a set of 12. Um, I did haul them in that Timu haul at the beginning of July. So if you haven't seen that yet, you could go and see that. So this is the big delicious one. So let's see if we can find something that fits our anesthetic for this spread. Ooh. This one looks kind of good. What do we think? We'll come back to this one. And this, since this is like um, a bread company farmhouse, I want to do, this one looks good. I want to do something more, like not a dessert, but like more of a bread one. Oh, this one looks good. Maybe. I kind of like this one too. So I'm going to use this one. And this one looks like a bread. We'll use this one. And then
I think they had one at the beginning that I liked too. I think those are the two we're going to use. Okay. Now, let's place these. And these are washi stickers, but they're in like a book. Where do we want to we'll place this one here? And then place the bread one kind of. Okay, I did find one sticker in these stickers I have here, which actually, I went through a, a thing and cut them all up, but they actually came in like a format like this, where they were like these, but these ones, I might have got these off of Timu as well, but I don't think I hauled them because I've had them since last year, but I did find this, this one to use, um, so, and the little boxes, so I have three of them. They came in a set of three, and I think they were like a dollar, dollar something, like a dollar nine for all three boxes. So, and I'm just going to look in this box, which is the other box for this set and see if there's something else.
and I'm going to use these, see if I can find something from these saying stickers, which again, these are off, off so from Timu. I don't think I hauled these. I think we're going to use this one here that says stay simple. And In this one that says, start each day with a grateful heart. But I don't know if oh these ones they also have I have in this corner some also these are also a mix mash some are from Shein some are from Timu um, so I don't even know because it's a mix match of stickers in this box Okay. So I did find one more in here that I think we'll use, and it's this one. So you have the bread and a drink. Wasp with tweezers again. So we will put this one down. Maybe, huh. maybe here, we're going to tuck it underneath. I think this one I'm going to put here. There we go. Okay. And that will be the end for our Mile Apo Farmhouse uh, Grand Opening spread. So, on to the next spread, which is going to be my man Jeff Satter. So I need to take the sticky notes off. His is not going to be as extravagant as uh, the Maya Lapa one was. But that's okay. So I think for our man, I'm going to use this one. Today we are going to use this Papermate 
um, pin, which this is, I bought these at the Dollar General, but you can also pick them up at the, uh, I think Walmart and stuff. And I did haul these in that mini stationery haul from January, June, in June. Or they were in, in my July collective haul. I can't honestly remember. Uh, so. We got Jeff trimmed. That did not come out right. And I think for Jeff, we're just going to use our ombre blue washi with the stars. I picked this one up at Michael's in a set two years ago, maybe last year. So, again, not all of my stuff is new.
Okay, and I'm going to use this sticker here, which is from my This Season's Flow set, which is off Timu. I don't think I hauled this. Honestly, I can't remember what I haul, when I haul it anymore. So that is our Jeff spread. Again, it's not as, not much, but uh, sometimes you're like, eh, I don't want to do a fancy spread. Sometimes you do. So, okay. Okay, so we can do our, so this is our Jeff spread, and this is our Mile Apo farmhouse spread, and a quick view because I did it before I filmed. Uh, we have our woods spread for the 24th. So that is the end of our videos. Um, this might be the only collective haul this week. But if not, we will be doing a... I will have our... This might be the only spread video this week. If not, I might have one up in the later in the week. And that one's going to be um, a Christmas... Um, spreads for Christmas so like BL actors like a Christmas spreads uh Bible's birthday um Bible's uh fur babies and his uh fin rear and just a Christmas spread in general so that will probably go up either later this week or early next week and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye